Hi Scorpio, welcome to your July 2020 Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look, see what the month ahead has in store for you, my dear stingers, for your actions and interactions with the world at large. This month you get the magician card, right? So this is it. When you see the magician card, this is about you coming up trumps. This is about you coming up the ranks. Now, remember, the Mercury retrograde is taking place in the sign of Cancer. So regardless of whether it's a Mercury retrograde, yes, we're all gonna feel that energy, but it is a trine energy to your own sign, especially if you're an ascendant or, well, no, whether you're a sun, moon or ascendant uh, Scorpio, that's a trine energy to one of your one of the points in your own chart and what that means is this energy is going to work in a harmonious way for you it's going to really highlight to you what is important to you now your magician card this is about you right and the reason i mentioned the mercury retrograde because the magician represents mercury um you know or sometimes a gemini person um but this re this represents you right this is about you being in your co in complete command of your own power it's going to see you very clear on what your strengths are very clear on what your goal or your life mission has now become this isn't about um what it's been before or you know the journey or anything like that this is about who you choose to be now how you choose to present yourself and ultimately how you choose to put yourself forward this is about you demonstrating your expertise this is about about you standing up to be counted in a specific area of your life to say this is who I am this are my, these are my skills these are my abilities and ultimately I choose to be respected and received in that way this is a really powerful step forward for you guys this week uh, this month because it's in your actions and interactions with the world at large this is about what you do it's about how you show up in the world how you choose to be seen and for all intents and purposes remember the magician is literally a master communicator and a master manifester this is about you stepping forward in some way shape or form to say you know what whatever the energy or the karma that i was born into whatever my astrology whatever my numerology whatever the cards say i am going to concentrate my power and i I'm going to direct that force towards whatever it is that I truly want. Remember, the the uh, the magician goes beyond even the, the temperance card because he is the direct channeling of that energy into the material world in order to create. Right? He is a true alchemist. He is a true uh, true worker of the spiritual and the material energies. Uh, he's the the point at which the as above, so below comes together. This is a really powerful month for you guys, uh, especially if you. You are well you know whether you're a sun moon or ascendant for your money and materials you have the eight of swords well look at this right so you've got the magician there as what you're doing now the interesting thing is right it may be that you have some big plan or something some big project that you want to put forward uh, maybe it's going to cost you in terms of your time so the thing about time is for us modern day humans, our time equates to our money. So if our time is restricted, how much money we can make sometimes is restricted too, unless you've got a really good passive income system, which I really need to pull my finger out on, but hey ho. <laughs> so this month, I kind of feel like it's your time that may be uh, stretch thin. And so therefore you might think, oh, you know, especially if you work for yourself, I can't see that many clients this month because I've got so much to do on this bigger project. Now, check this out. You are a master manifester this month. You are a master creator. What is the, the true message behind the Eight of Pentacles is that you can free yourself from the situation that you are facing. And the, the fact that the figure is blindfolded is all about, it's kind of like a nod back to that Two of Swords, right? If you can trust your inner senses, if you can trust all of your internal sort of energy, senses, gut feelings, you can effectively free yourself from whatever it is that is binding you. 
Here, you have the magician card. So the question is this month, Scorpio, if you want to create more money, you're gonna to have to create more time. Uh, and if you can't create more time, use the time that you have this month wisely so that you can get whatever these projects or this big project is out of the way. Once it is done, you can then go on to keep creating, right? Then you can keep sort of welcoming in money. So it kind of looks like the time is what's creating the financial issue this month, or it may be that you're so busy earning money, because you know, for some of you, this will be the opposite experience. It may be that some of you are so busy earning money that you stop to think like, wow, you know what? I literally haven't had a break this month. Or maybe, you know, you work through your lunch hour every single day for the month ahead. Like it does look like a lot of you are very busy, but you're also very, very powerful this month try not to squander that, right? Because it, it doesn't happen like this very often. So uh, when it comes to your health, this is a month for you to pay attention to your, um, come on brain, because uh, there's so many of them as well. This is a month for you to pay attention to your sleeping. It's also a month for you to pay attention to your, um, I want to say ligaments. I think that's the right one. It is like, so all of the, you know, your connective tissues, um, things like celery apparently are really good for that. Um, and uh, bone broth as well, you know, for the collagen that kind of ties all of your arthroses and stuff together. Um, anyway, I, I, I digress. I'm not a healthcare professional, but you know, I've got a little bit of knowledge, enough to be dangerous, I think. <laughs> With your uh, home situation, yeah, look at this, right? As above, so below. And it's kind of like you're pointing at that Eight of Swords. So this could be a month where you are working on completing something and it looks like you're working on completing a lot of things, you know? So it's kind of like across the board, there's a lot happening there. Um, again, the other part of this is it could be for some of you, you're just really feeling the lockdown, you know? Like you're just at that point where it's like, okay, enough is enough. For your communications and conversations, you have the Seven of Cups. Communications are a little bit woolly this month, all right? So this is a month to, if somebody says something and you're not 100% sure on what it is, remember there's that Mercury retrograde. Now for you, the Mercury retrograde is working in a harmonious energy because it's trining your signs. So the, tr the chances are it's gonna bring something really positive into you or back to your plate or your table. Because you've got the Seven of Cups in your communications though, just be sure that whatever it is that you are offering, um, the other party is really clear on what that is. Do you know what I mean? Because it might be that somebody comes back from the past and says, look, do you want to work together again? Do you want to collaborate? Maybe an old boss? Um, very likely as well, but because you've got that Eight of Swords next to it as well, when I see those two together, I am a little bit, not, yeah, I'm a little bit concerned that whatever this offer is, it might be, it might be a good offer, but maybe they're expecting more than they're actually saying. Uh, and just, if that is the case, just be clear, just be really, really sure to define very clearly what is on offer and what is not. Um, the other thing is as well, uh, again, because I always say to people with the Seven of Cups, don't spread yourself too thin. Um, this is not a big month for communicating with too many people. All right, this is not a big month for that. I would just play a lot of your cards close. I mean, you're a Scorpio, so you always do, but you kind of get my drift. For your love and relations, you've got the Temperance card. This is beautiful, right? So for those of you that are single, you're spending a lot, right? And I talked about the Temperance card, right? You're spending a lot more time on your spiritual pursuits, on your worldly pursuits this month to really think about relationships. Now, if somebody is coming in for you, the chances are they will be a Sagittarius, um, you know, or have at least a very spiritual or Sagittarian energy to them. Now, the thing is, this person is also likely to be very different from you, which means at the beginning, certainly, you could really rub each other the wrong way. Um, you know, and, and it might be something that develops into a, a you know, a, and sometimes that's the way it happens. You know, you meet someone and you think, oh God, I can't friggin' stand you. Um, and then, <laughs> you know, before you know it, you're like, actually, I really fancy them. Sometimes it happens that way, um, but just something to consider. For those of you that are partnered, this is really nice um, because it means that you and your partner are aligning in the right way. It looks like a lot of your plans are going ahead. This could be, though, look at this. This could be something collective happening in your partnership. Just be sure, like this is the month for you to have each other's backs. 
um, you know, put your backs to each other so that you're facing out and you can survey this, this, the circle. I know that sounds really weird, but it's the only way that I can put it. Um, yeah, no, I like that. Um, all right, for your first week of the month, you have the High Priestess. So the High Priestess right under the Magician. Now, this is a very, very rare and very, very um, powerful combination of cards. I've seen this come up in my career as a professional tarot reader a handful of times. And when I say a handful of times, I mean literally, I don't even think I've seen it come up five times in, in personal readings together. That's how rare it is. The Magician and the High Priestess, whenever they come up together, this is about somebody tapping into their own spiritual power. Uh, and when I say spiritual power, I'm talking about their occult power, your ability to literally tap into the whatever is beyond the veil and channel that energy into the real world this these two cards together this is talking about true magical practitionership if this is something you are interested in or something that you have ever thought about doing this is the month for you to get started the one thing that you need to be very clear on right and i stress this because I don't want people to go out and start flinging things around willy-nilly. If you are going to do this, you dedicate yourself to this path and you do it properly. Do not play with it because it will bite you in the ass. This is a lot of energy, it's a lot of power, it's a lot of responsibility. <sighs> Soapbox moment over. Um, <laughs> it's just because, I, you know, this, I'm, I'm very, um, I'm very protective of, of, of what we do. And, uh, you know, the, it's it's great. I think it's wonderful that um, the world is becoming more spiritual, but I don't like this idea of people picking it up and playing around with it. You know, oh, I'll just see what happens. And no, if you're going to do it, you do it properly. You give it your time, your courtesy, your care, your honor, and your respect. Same thing like if you have an ancestor practice or you are getting into ancestor practice or worship, you have to respect it because if you don't, not only does it sort of not really go very far, but you're you, you know you're effectively disrespecting them. So this is a very powerful pair in this first week of the month. You could be extremely psychic, uh, very sensitive to energy, to feelings, to thoughts. Pay attention to your dreams over the course of this week, uh, this first week ahead. And if you are going to dedicate yourself to this path, this first week of the month would be a really good time for you to say, right, you know what? I'm going to embark on this. See it as a journey rather than a, rather than an event. It's going to be a journey and a process. Um, now, this could be as well for some of you that aren't on that path and it's not for you. This could be you going to see a psychic, an astrologer. Um, very likely less to be an astrologer actually. It's very likely to be either a psychic, um, maybe a hoodoo worker, a root worker, a spiritualist, um, again possibly a medium. Um, it's less likely to be things like astrology though, it's more likely to be things where people's innate energy is very much involved. Um, but yeah, if you've ever think, thought about going to see a spiritual worker of some sort, this is a good week uh, and certainly a good month for it. For your second week of the month, you have the Tower card underneath the Eight of Swords, right? So yeah, you, this, you could be feeling quite restless this second week of the month. Now, a part of this might be if you're embarking on this once you, you know, it's kind of like a lightning rod. Once you, you're infused with so much energy, you have to dissipate it. You have to put it out in some respect because otherwise you get, you know, it's like when you have too much coffee, um, <laughs> you know, only supercharged. Um, yeah, this second week of the month. Now, something that you might want to be aware of, uh, my dear Scorpios, look at that. The High Priestess next to the Tower. This is a sudden secret. This is gonna be something that is big, something that is divulged to you. It may very well be something that you don't see coming. However, because you've got a lot of your own psychic power this month. I mean, Scorpios have a lot of, very, a lot of, Scorpios have a lot of psychic power anyway, but because you've got this pairing, you may well intuit this coming and then it's revealed to you. But this is something that is revealed to you and it will be something that is shocking. Remember your high priestess isn't always just your intuition. She's also hidden things revealed. Next to the tower card, this is something that is bam. You know, like something that's revealed that really, it's almost like a slap in the face because you're like, whoa, okay, I did not see that coming. 
but a select few of you, if you're connected enough, you may intuit this, um, but either which way it will be revealed to you and divulged. Now, uh, when it comes to the home, it does look like you're gonna have to find ways to get out this month, um, just cause you might be feeling a bit more restless than normal. Uh, something to do with the finances here as well. And it, it does feel like it's time related. Uh, now, for some of you as well, it may be that you have to pass up a really good opportunity of some sort. Um, again, this whole thing about time constraints, if you can move it, uh, that would be great, um, but I'm not sure I'm not sure it's going to be possible. For your third week of the month, you have the lover's card, right? So this is nice, actually. It looks like you are making some sort of snap, quick, fast decisions, but you're also really being very cautious about what you promise, about what you offer. And a big part of this kind of feels like, it's almost like you really want to deliver, but you're not, you're just kind of saying to yourself, you know what? I don't want to overextend myself. If I want to, if I'm going to do something or I want to do it, I want to make sure that I give to it properly, like whatever it is that they or this thing deserves. Um, when it comes to communications as well, it looks like you are. I mean, all the water signs are going to cl communicate clearer than any of the other signs this month. Maybe not necessarily Cancer, um, but. I feel like at least uh, Scorpio and Pisces will definitely, because it's a trine energy, right? I feel like it will be the people around you that aren't necessarily communicating so clearly. Just something for you to, to be aware of. And then you've got the Strength card underneath the Temperance card. For those of you that are single, it does look like somebody otherworldly, uh, I say otherworldly, somebody likely to be foreign, very likely to be somebody from a very hot place or a very warm area. Uh, is coming in for you, somebody that's very well traveled. Um, I like this person for you, but like I said, I really feel like you you guys are gonna rub each other the wrong way to start with, man. Um, and you, you know, it might be quite alien to you. Remember the strength card represents Leo as well. Um, that's a little nod to, I know who, you'll know who you are when you watch this. Um, for those of you that are partnered, that temperance card underneath the strength card, this is you and your partner in a really strong position. And it kind of looks like you're thinking and feeling with one heart, which is a really potent place to be in, right? It's a, it's a really strong energy. I really like this for you guys. For those of you that are partnered, this is looking like a really lovely month. Um, and then finally, your key to the month, that seems to want out is the four of pentacles right where and when you can save money this month do so all right this is a month for you to really consider that kind of thing uh this comes right underneath the tower and the lovers um two things right this month when it comes to your physical body uh be sure to keep your hands and fingers away from this seems like common sense but i'm just going to put it out there be sure to keep your hands and your fingers away from electro electronic things like if there's any wire in this exposed please keep away from it um you know if there's any electronics that are a bit faulty or a bit dodgy don't touch them and um yeah that's what i've got to say on that front um but with the four of pentacles this is a month for you to start saving right even if you just open up a savings account and have it there say lots sort of laying dormant this is a month for you to think about doing that with that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic month. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.